Welcome back to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, eerie atmospheric forest type of pad. And we're going to use face plant for that. Um, the reason being is they have the resonator, which is actually the perfect, um, perfect candidate to give it more impact or make it sound more eerie, so to speak. Uh, what I'm doing here is that I'm tuning it to the tritone, which is uh, also known as the devil's interval or devil's tone or whatever. Um, anyways, we're going to have a wavetable sweep. We're not a sweep, but we're going to have a wavetable. And let's go for the spectral. Choose the harmonic wanderer. Uh, let's turn a macro knob to the wavetable position and call it texture. So you can change the table right over here. I'm gonna have a filter. I'm gonna have a note modulator. And uh, we're going to have a long attack time around like yeah, one and a half second, maybe around. So decay time, like four seconds. Let's turn down this is sustain to around 70% up the release time to around like two seconds. And what else? Let's turn up the slope. Let's put a delay. Make it ping pong. And then we want a long ass reverb on this with a mix almost fully up. Turn up the size, dampen it a little bit and around like 11 seconds or so. Now let's see what we got. I got two notes here playing E1 and B1. Yeah, let's see what we have so far. So just to demonstrate what the resonator is doing, let's turn it off. So we're going to have some modulation going on here. So I'm going to create an LFO, put it on re-trigger mode, gonna up the, uh, the rate of it. Going to make it unipolar. I'm going to do a basic shape right here, something like this. And I want to modulate the pitch slightly, like three semitones or so. And we're going to do the same. I wonder if we're going to use the same LFO. Mm, yeah, I think we can use the same type of LFO over here. So let's turn down the cutoff around 300. That's pretty much it, actually. Um, we could, for example, oh yeah, we need to EQ this guy. Let's try some lower notes and see how it sounds. Let's just move these guys 
an octave down. So yeah, it's a really easy approach to make them. Um, the key is use a resonator, long ass reverb, maybe some delay, that's up to you. Um, and choose a cool wavetable and a filter. And also the resonator, of course, yeah, I forgot about that one. <laughs> Let's see how it sounds now when we got, when I complete our patch without the resonator. resonates at Yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys.